Okay, I just wanted to update everybody on what's been going on with the uh, situation about the uh, possible attack on the pregnant community and the incident involving the uh, pregnant woman on YouTube. I've just received new information as of this morning from friends of mine that put all of this in a very new perspective. Uh, originally, you know, I was thinking I needed to make some kind of video to respond to this woman or to the people there to try and uh, make them understand who we were and try to clear up any misunderstandings that uh, that have occurred as a result of this incident. Uh, but like I said, I've been made aware of something that I was not aware of yesterday. I, I contacted my friend Punishing Fate and he informed me that he already knew about the video and he said I should look on the comments section and see a certain person that we both mutually knew. Guess who that person was? Victor Bravo. That's right, the man who stalked me and harassed me and harassed uh, Punishing Fate and his then girlfriend and later wife who made multiple accounts and did all kinds of things I'm not going to get back into our whole history. If you want to look it up, uh, I'll post a link to the video that I made talking about my history with Victor Bravo. But basically, this puts everything in a, an entirely new perspective. Anything that that man is involved in is not good. And apparently, he is the one who has been talking to her and reaching out to her. She even used some of his uh, words that... Uh, uh, he made in his comment section on her video when she made that apology video. Uh, I'm going to read to you some of his comments. I screen captured some of them. I don't know if you can see them or not, but I will read them out to you. And here they are. Okay, so the comments start like this. Uh, this apparently was on the first video. It says, Good evening. I originally planned to talk to you using my other YouTube channel, Victor Bravo, but I decided not to insult your intelligence and reach out to you using my real name and face. By the way, I use my real face with my other YouTube channel as well. I'll cut to the chase. I want you to know your words struck a chord with some of its intended audience. Members of a website at Pregophilia, an online community where videos and pictures of pregnant women is exchanged, is talking about your video. I'm not here to speak on their behalf, but I will tell you your words made many folks do some soul-searching. As I said, I'm not here to speak for them. Considering what I know you will find in my other YouTube channels like and favorites lists, I figure I should do you the benefit of saying your words have inspired me. You see, for almost ten years I have called for people on many of these online communities to think with their heads instead of their loins. I also want to add there are a lot of women who are part of these online communities, though the majority are men. Anyway, about five years ago, I decided to become a whistleblower in what community members call the pregnant community. Anyone who likes pregnancy in general or finds pregnant women beautiful is considered a member of the pregnant community. Of course, it isn't one online community but several, and can include social media if desired. It is my profound belief that the intent wasn't for things to become the free-for-all it has become about seven years ago. This is why I became a whistleblower in the community, quote, though my warnings fell on deaf ears. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Anyway, until your video came along. To you, I say thank you. Even if it wasn't the intent, you just became the face behind the hundreds of profile pics and videos openly shared daily on sites like Pregophilia. I'm not expecting sweeping reform, but I have no doubt that for many, they will never look at their collection the same way again. Oh, I'm, I'm tearing up, I'm tearing up, I tell you. Oh. 
Like you, I am a blogger, but I also blog on WordPress. I have nine blogs across three different WordPress accounts, and fake accounts as well. I blog about a variety of things, mostly shit. If you are interested, I would like to keep the conversation going. I think we can both agree that it is important. Oh, and before I forget, I want to make clear two things. I don't have a collection of pregnant women on my computer. What a lie. We all know that's bullcrap. Never have and never will. A look at my videos on this YouTube account will explain much of why. I also feel it would be in conflict with my self-appointed role as an agitator and whistleblower within the pregnant community. <laughs> wow. I'm not about to ask you to trust me at my word after you just posted this. In my book, the decision to trust a complete stranger talking to them over the internet they know almost nothing about takes some serious consideration. Also, whether you want to make your conversation public or private, I'll leave you to decide. I'm fine either way. Finally, do what you feel you must do to protect your privacy. Wow, what can I say? Victor Bravo, the man who stalked me for years, the man who harassed me and later harassed and stalked my friend Punishing Fate and his girlfriend and later wife, is now giving advice to this woman about not being a victim and trying to pretend that he is some sort of white knight in shining armor coming to save the day. It's unbelievable, but yet it's so typical of Victor Bravo. I mean, here he is trying to uh, pretend that he is not really part of the problem, not part of, you know, anything to do with harassing people. And he is the master of harassing people. He is a cyberbully, a stalker, a, a real SOB. Also, you just heard that bullcrap about uh, Victor not having collections of pregnant women. That's a lie. He's a member of the community. He, I remember when he, he tried to create that site and everything else. He had photos. He had pictures. Of course he had photos of pregnant women on his computer then, and they're on there now. Uh, it, he is full of it. But he wasn't done. He posted more. The lady responded to uh, the pregnant woman on YouTube, responded to his comment, and then he said this. Anyway, as a thanks for taking time to reply, I will share some of the research I have been doing while visiting these various sites, mostly for personal reasons. Believe it or not, there is a universal admiration for pregnancy by all across the many sites worldwide. This I have been able to determine beyond reasonable doubt. It takes nine months to make a life, but only an instant to take one after all. Oh, good heavens. As I mentioned before, many women as well as men frequent many of these pregnancy interest sites as well as pregnancy interest groups on the website DeviantArt. All of the women are willing participants and like their male counterparts, they do for various reasons. The top two reasons I've polled are their own struggles with infertility and their skills at making pregnancy-themed art. Most of the sites I've dealt with keep the focus on the user-created content, art, stories, etc. And pregnancy in movies, TV, though some like the Love Pregnant and Pregnant Community org, neither site is around anymore, focus on the exchanging of exotica and pornography. The site I mentioned before called Pregophilia focuses more on the latter categories and almost exclusively. Most folks in the community I've directly dealt with make artwork on deviant art with pregnancy as the main recurring theme. Many of the artists are women, believe it or not. Mesophilia, I'm sure I misspelled the first part of the word, is the word used to describe someone who has a pregnancy fetish. The person can be male or female, in this case of women. It's interpreted as someone with a desire to be pregnant for the physical changes and the stronger libido. It would be a fair assumption to say it's its own subculture. And uh, that's where the term was used in that video. You can see where she got that from. 
That in turn has subcultures. It's much more simple than I'm making it sound, but I'll leave things at that for now. One interesting thing I forgot to mention before is folks on these sites that favorite download videos of average pregnant women and their photo equivalents do not comment or post links to social media profiles. It's more or less shared understanding for more or less the same reasons you cite in your video. To them, the less these women know of their distant admirers, the better. Those who break protocol are looked down on disfavorably and are viewed as acting on their own. They're considered scum, to, uh, to say the least. Not saying I'm defending the community or anything like that. I've seen this behavior in other internet communities, so yeah, nothing new. Anywho, I think I've gone on long enough. Oh, really, Victor? You should be sure about that? Your analogy at the end is a superb one, I might add. Before I forget, my agenda was actually sharing what I know with a pregnant woman outside the community's influence. You not only fit that criteria, but I felt obliged after watching your video. Now that it's been done, it's on to other things for me. Good luck to you and yours. Now, there is one last quote that I didn't put on here that he mentioned at the top of his little comment, and I want to share it with you now because it's very revealing about what Victor Bravo's agenda here is and what he's up to. So just take a look at this a little bit. In reference to your last point, I've been doing that for about five years now. At the time I posted my previous comment, it was around this time at night, the next morning, Someone on Pregophilia made some noise saying they didn't like my comments. Like I said in my response to that person, I speak only for myself and have my own agenda. I don't speak for the community. Quote, never have and never will. They wouldn't be able to handle me as a spokesperson, let alone a leader. Well, there you have it. I mean... That is Victor Bravo in a nutshell. That comment was a not-so-subtle jab at me, whether he mentioned by name or not. In his sick mind, Victor Bravo thinks I am the leader of the pregnant community and that I am its spokesperson. And Victor Bravo always wanted to be the spokesperson for the pregnant community, the leader, and he felt that I was in the way. That's why he tried to take my uh, account down, the previous one that I had, Harrison, and why he's stalked and harassed me, Punishing Fate, and everybody else on, in the printed community who he thought was a threat. But there's also, also something else very revealing about these comments. It seems like in the beginning he's trying to defend the printed community and only condemning the people who engage in bad behavior, but he's actually trying to attack the community at the same time, claiming that they have problems, meaning people like me and uh, Punishing Fate and others, that we're the problem and that he is there to try and reform it, to save it, you know, from these bad people. And that Victor Bravo, you know, he himself, he is above all these things. He doesn't have photos of pregnant women on his computer. Bullcrap, of course he does. That's a lie. And, you know, he's trying to have it both ways. He's both defending the community and attacking it at the same time, claiming, you know, they couldn't handle me as a spokesperson or a leader because he wants to be the spokesperson, he wants to be the leader of the pregnant community. Now, I don't consider myself a spokesperson for the community, let alone a leader of the community, but Victor Bravo thinks that's what I am, and when he says things like that, I know it's he, he, he's got me in mind. Like I said, Victor Bravo is a sick, twisted individual, and anything he's involved with is not good. And the fact that he's been the one communicating with this pregnant woman is not a good thing. This changes everything completely. I realize now that I can't make a video responding to this woman or to anybody on there. Uh, if Victor Bravo has been talking to this woman and communicating with her, he's probably poisoned her mind already against me and a lot of the pregnant community as a whole. And also, as you'll see, the comments from some of these people, it's just horrible. I'll show you one comment, and it's just very indicative of the, the horrible things that are being said over there on these videos. 
Uh, let's take a look at this one. Well, this comment is indicative of what's the mentality over there at, on these videos. And this comment says a lot. Exclude None says, The problem is misogyny and objectification. It is not okay for someone to use another person in person or their image without their permission for sexual gratification. Pregophilia or pedophilia or whatever. Intentional, not applied consent must be given to use someone's person or image for sexual gratification without their consent is a violation and it does feel violent of their person. Let's get consensual. Yes means yes. Everything else is a no. Oh, girlfriend, you go. You just preach it, sister friend. What a bunch of bullshit. You can tell what kind of person that is. That is a typical feminazi attitude. I mean, this person is the very definition of fascism. I mean, misogyny, violent, the words they're using, I recognize those words. Those are the words of a feminazi, a man-hating feminazi. Basically, this is what she was trying to say. Yeah, I think that's what she was really saying and really conveying. That's very typical of bigots like her, and unfortunately it's very typical of the people over there uh, right now who are commenting on these videos. In conclusion, I've decided, you know, I'm not going to get involved, I'm not going to post videos responding to her or trying to communicate with these people. I still think that we need to try to find some way forward, like I said, some way to communicate with people on YouTube who are not pregnancy lovers in order to present, you know, the real side of our community and the good side. But that's going to be a hard and difficult undertaking, but we're going to have to just try and brainstorm some ideas. Also, you know, like I said, this revelation that Victor Bravo is the one who has been communicating with this woman changes everything. Uh, Victor Bravo is a, a stalker, a cyber bully, uh, a psychopath. Uh, like I said, click on the link below in the description and you will see the history that I have had with this guy. If he is involved and he has been talking to her, nothing good could come from that because Victor Bravo himself is a stalker and a psychopath. And you can see by his comments, uh, he's very two-faced. He's defending the community and attacking it at the same time. And he's also revealing that he wants to be the leader of the community and in charge. It's very typical of his behavior. So as things stand now, I won't be making any videos in response to her or anything else, you know, directed towards those people over there. Uh, by the way they're commenting, I can see that we're not going to be able to get through to them. They're just too bigoted, too narrow-minded, and too evil, really, to communicate with, in my opinion. And like I said, if Victor Bravo is involved, uh, it's, it's, it's pointless. He's probably poisoned their minds already against us. So there's no point in trying to create a dialogue over there. Uh, besides of which, you know, the situation, like I said, seems to have been resolved anyway as far as this woman goes. As far as the people commenting, there's nothing really we can do about that. They're so bigoted and so narrow-minded they're not going to listen to anything that I say or that anyone else says. Uh, I think one of the main things to take away from this is also that we need to be more aware of Victor Bravo. Yes, he has stalked and harassed me, and he has stalked and harassed uh, my friends, but now he is stalking and harassing the pregnant community. So I think everyone in the community should keep an eye out for Victor Bravo more than ever and make sure that he does not become our de facto leader, as it were, which is what he wants. He wants to be the leader of this community. He wants to be in charge of everything, and he likes to have power over people. And he's just really bizarre, strange, and psychotic. Uh, 
please be very wary of Victor Bravo and anything that he is involved in. And keep in mind he has many different kinds of accounts and things like that. And at my WordPress blog you can find out some of the names of those uh, fake accounts that he uses and the different aliases that he has. So in closing, uh, this is all I'm going to say about this subject unless uh, something else comes up. Uh, we'll try to get things back to normal and have a more happy and uh, good atmosphere around here. But this was something important and, and I know that all of you needed to know what was going on as it affects all of us. Hopefully we can put this behind us and move on. Well, this is the Chipmunk and we will see you next time everybody. Bye for now.